was this date? 2008. 2008. This was at the June 5th, 2008 meeting. So I think, you know, as far as Dave complying with what needs to be done, as far as the meter location, he's done that. Um, now, the, the, only, the only other issue was that the town, I believe, based on my conversation, that the town required him to purchase the electronic portion that went on the meter he already had. And that's four hundred and fifty dollars or five hundred dollars. And so, my my feeling and my request to the council is that that meter had been purchased and should have been considered part of being covered by the grant money as far as upgrading it, and making it work with the new system, the electronics. So therefore, the town should pay for that additional electronic electronic portion because. The grant money would cover it because it was a meter that was there in place, had been purchased and prior to the grant being awarded. It's my understanding. If you have different facts or something, nobody's presented that to me. So, you know. I thought so the I, meter wasn't there. So, so I would request then that the town pay the five hundred dollars, and, and Dave can you know provide you a copy of the bill as far as what that amount was for the electronic portion. And those are the two things that I believe are what the town, what the council. We're going to address tonight. Okay, thank you. Okay. Is that meter in place? Yes. No, it's not. Yes, it is. We're discussing. <laughs> uh, the, the deal is this, uh, from what I understand, the application was made in 2008. It was granted and uh, it was okay and everything. Um, it wasn't installed. The, there was, was no meter installed. There was no meter installed. There was, like I said, for, and I did write Dave, you all got the information. Yeah. And, and, okay, I'm going to be able to respond to after you're done. No, you're not. Yes, yes so, I am. Well, I do have well, a right so now, Let us discuss this. I will, this, but Dave. I'm just saying I need to respond okay, after you're done. Well, after we're done discussing. You, you know, but let us discuss, oh. okay? That's on the agenda, all right? Okay. That's the way it's set up. Um, like I said, it's been, it was two years uh, delinquent. Uh, it wasn't installed. Uh, we got all the information, free to ask any questions, and vote on and make a motion on what you want to do. Before you make a motion, I think I have a right to respond because the mayor's saying that he did everything. No, the town did not follow its own procedures in following and approving and giving final approval. He can't install the meter, technically, until the town gives final approval, okay? I've got a copy of the sheet that the town has. There is one signature on it that shows he made an application in a name. The town has not filled out the rest of that form. Therefore, the town has not given final approval. So if the town hasn't given final approval, you, you're basically trying to say, well, Dave, you've got to install that anyways and violate the ordinance that we just adopted. The town can't do that. That's inconsistent okay. with what it wants to do. So to sit here and say, well, he didn't put it in in two years, is it, it doesn't comply with your own ordinance because you as a town failed to comply with your ordinance. If you have an ordinance, you have an obligation as much as the citizens do to follow it and comply with it. Can I ask a question? Um, there is only one signature on there. So is it whose responsibility is it like to said, get it approved? When, when, wait a minute. When, when the, an application, just like what we've been doing, when an application is made for a water service, just like the one Subby made, they went and put it in, we went and inspected it, you know, it was fine. And all, the, the, all we're trying to just say is that this connection was never installed. And like I said, he's free to hook it up. Well, but as long as it's where we, we yeah, want it. And it is where you wanted it. It's where the town council told him to do it. And you have an ordinance right here, A through G. sits right here, okay? This is the ordinance you adopted. I mean, your predecessors adopted it. If you want to change it, that's your prerogative. You have a meeting, you change the ordinance. That's up to you. But here's what it is, and here's what it says to do. In addition to that, you had a mayor saying, here's what's going on. Don't put it in, we're going to put new stuff. Okay. You got a town council. I'm more than happy. If you want to have a hearing on this, 
and bring the town council, the members that were present, and let's see what they all have to say. That's okay. Let's see if they approve it. Let's see what was going on. But regardless of that, if you don't even want to do that, you're obligated to follow your own ordinance. That's and you haven't done it. That's what we want to do. You, okay, you want to do it. You haven't done it. Second of all, the meter of location was approved by the town council. But you was got the meter put in? The, when, the, the was place put to in put it in was put in, but was the meter actually installed? Yeah, the meter's there. Where they told you to yeah, put it in? it is. When? As of when? I, I, when, he, when he did it in what April or May. Two, what about two years ago? He didn't have to put it in two years ago. Because the mayor told him to not follow the ordinance. What, no, wait a minute. Whether the, here's your ordinance. You show me where I'm you've signed off on every one of those you, and he, given the application and told Mr. Phillips. But you're going Mr. along with what Mr. Phillips told okay, him that he didn't have to comply let's with getting a meter. Let's disregard that. Then you want to disregard that, okay? We need to follow the policy. Here's your policy, okay? Now you show me where, on uh, Mr. Buchanan's uh, preliminary approval letter, that you as a town signed off on all the steps that are required in there. Well, how can we sign them off when they were never done? Well, they were. They weren't. They weren't done, huh? So let's see. Applicant has obtained a valid building done. permit. You think you got a valid bill? Have you, did you check that? Okay, here's your form. They did. Did you sign off on it? Right there. I did. Nothing. That wasn't in office. That's right. So your town council predecessors did not follow that one right there. So there's nothing there to tell him that he did that. Okay? Yeah, Second one. Applicants demonstrated the ability to connect to the existing water. Did he, did he demonstrate that? If he did, then it should have been signed off and the date it was done. Next one down. It goes through the town didn't do any of that. So why did that Conditional approval. Final approval shall not issue until they've done this. Then why so you haven't given Wait a minute, wait a minute. So you, why did he? Yeah, the mayor now, so here's the conflict, exact, for, perfect, for perfect example. Mayor comes out and says, you put that meter in. And I wasn't there, so I don't know the exact conversation, but you put the meter in now. Then sends a letter. So Dave gets the letter that says, I've got to do this. So the meter was put in. Now, whether it was put in correctly or whatever, that's another question, okay? But Dave, you know, Dave's testimony is that the mayor told him to put it in there. I, Chad, I don't know if Chad actually went over and inspected it or not, or was able to, but somebody, according to Dave, looked at it and said it was okay. I, I don't know. Nobody said it was okay. Well, I think the last meeting, Chad stated right there when he's standing outside that he did inspect it. I'll tell you what, we had we had a broken water line that had to be fixed in order to turn like three city blocks back on. The repair was adequate. Okay. So, okay. So, so, okay. So, you, you, you done with your presentation? Well, yeah, I guess I am. Like you're going to vote how what you're going to do, but... Like I said, the way it happened, uh, we all know it. We've heard it like a thousand times. Like well, I, said, I don't know. We asked ask that uh, that line, that the meter be installed. And, um, like I said, huh? No. So, anyway, what was the question? I, I sent... Uh, I didn't hear, what was the question? I asked if what line it was on. Is it a working line? So we yes, it is. So what it. she uh, the deal is, like I said, I wrote Dave a letter and I asked him to get this, you know, the meter installed, and I gave him all of the. Which you doesn't know, comply with your own ordinances. The letter you wrote. It complies with with what you wanted to. Right. But it doesn't okay. comply. Hey, with hey, the hey! Give me a break, okay? And we're trying to we're trying to have a discussion. You sit here and say you want to comply with the ordinances. Okay, so what what happened was I wrote him a letter. I had him uh, put the meter in. And this happened on a Saturday. We got a call that the water line was compromised uh, during, you know, and nobody was informed of this, you know. So uh, that's where that's where it kind of lays. You know, the problem, and like I said, I don't have a problem with Dave hooking on to the water line as long as it's out on the property line. Like I said, I don't, you know, that's so. What as would you long like? as it as long as it was inspected and was the application brought in for us to sign off. We have no idea. Yeah, that would so be in your file. question is, huh? yeah, so the meter file. ever installed to be signed off on? There was never a meter installed. Right. Was never. It? it was never.